Hello and welcome everybody, I am Herbert aka the IT guy and today we're going to be looking at the Winget tool which is the package manager by Microsoft. So first of all, my best wishes to you for the new year. Let's hope that 2021 is going to be a better year than 2020 and with that said, let's get straight into the video. So first of all, I've opened up the um, the URL here so I'll post that in the video description as well and uh, we're gonna use the Winget tool to install and manage applications so if you don't know what a package manager is basically it is a tool to actually maintain your own software on your PC and the good thing about that is is that you don't have to go over to your um, to the <clears throat> to the website of the software manufacturer to keep your uh, software up to date right Everything that you install with the Winget tool is going to be maintained with the Winget tool. So that's a good thing for um, automating things and for making things just a little bit easier. Anybody who works with command line tools knows that these these things are very, very time saving as, as, as you compare that to something like a UI and where you have to download the software from the manufacturer's website and then you have to still install it. You have to open up the installer and go through the whole uh, process of installing it. So uh, Winget is not yet included in Windows, so you'll need a preview version, so you'll need a, as we, we call it, a beta version of Windows. You need to enable that in your settings, so we're going to go over how to do that in just a minute. Uh, but generally speaking, installing it is pretty easy. Uh, you're going to have to do some things and you have to just uh, adjust some settings in your on your computer and you'll be good to go. So with that said, let's get straight into the installation. So uh, we need to... Uh, make sure that we apply for the Winget tool uh, for the uh, flight or preview version of Windows App Installer and we have to enable the uh, Insiders program on our PC for that. So first of all, we'll need to supply, uh, submit a request for the Windows Package Manager Insiders program, which is nothing more than just a form where you will fill in your Microsoft account and your Microsoft account is basically just your Outlook address, your Hotmail address, whatever, uh, where you use all of your Microsoft products on. So also you'll need to make sure that you log into the Windows Store with that. And so this is something that will not work if you're just working with a local account. You'll need to work with a Microsoft account on your Windows 10 machine. So you'll need to just ent uh, enter your Microsoft account details over here, click submit. And, you know, generally speaking, uh, you get uh, accepted immediately and it should be no problem. Uh, next up, what we want to do is we want to um, participate in the Windows Insider program. So we'll need to go over to insider.windows.com. We'll need to log in with our Microsoft account. Again, the same one that you just entered in that uh, Microsoft form. And <clears throat> we're going to apply for uh, any of these three channels. So I did the beta channel. Uh, you can choose dev channel or release preview channel. Uh, it goes from most instable to stabler. And this is you know, generally release preview channel so this is actually the features that they are planning to release but they're not 100% sure if it uh, uh if it really is 100% stable and this is actually a beta channel where they test their beta software and then it gets pushed onto release preview so we have dev channel which is the most instable then we have beta channel which is a little bit more tested and this is actually like the final testing phase for all of their Microsoft products. So you can go for the in-release uh, preview channel or you can go for the beta channel or the dev channel, depending on your experience. If you go for the dev channel, your, systems might, your system might get a little bit unstable, uh, but I went for the middle ground. I didn't want like, uh, the, I did want some um, more extra features that might not have been included in the release preview channel. So, you know, choose whatever you like, right? So let's close that up. So make sure you apply for the Windows Insider program. Also, if you don't, uh, if you don't have the Windows Insider program, it's a great way to test newer versions of Windows. Just keep that in mind. So let's close that website up over here. So once we have done all of that, we'll need to go over to our settings over here, settings, and then we have to go into update and security, and then we go into the Windows Insider program. And right over here, we select our uh, beta channel so i have selected the beta channel which is recommended uh, but you can select whatever you want right you can select the dev channel or the release preview channel so the beta channel is a recommended one so let's close up our settings over here once you have selected that and uh we'll need to go into our email now so we should have gotten an email uh, about the windows insider program and there should be a, a link over here 
which points us to the latest version in the uh, Microsoft Store. So we'll click that, click, and in here we will uh, have to click Get. As you can see, I've already installed it. If you've already installed the app installer, you can actually reinstall it and get an updated version by just clicking Get again and then clicking Update. So keep that in mind. And now let's go into our command line over here. And we can actually type in winget now. So this is the command that we'll be using, winget. And we can actually start installing stuff right now. So let's just say we want to install the winget, in, uh, let winget search. First of all, let's see if the package is actually available. Let's do Thunderbird. So winget search Thunderbird. And as you can see, it can find the latest version of uh, Mozilla Thunderbird. So um, these are different versions. So we're just going to go with the latest version over here. But this is Spanish. We're going to go with this one over here, which is the, uh, the top one. And we're just going to type in winget install. And then we're going to do Mozilla Thunderbird. So I'm actually, um, actually, let's do this as an administrator because uh, We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to supply the PC with administrative privileges. After all, so we'll get winget install. We'll do Mozilla, Mozilla Thunderbird. So let's do that. So right now it's downloading it, and it's starting the package install, and it should pop up over here. So this is one downside, I think, still to uh, Winget, and that's that they just download the MSI, and sometimes you still have to uh, click through the installation. So for example, with uh, Adobe Acrobat Reader, I still had to click through the whole process of uh, installation. But in this case, it was okay, right? So just we just saw a little bit of a pop-up of the MSI, and then it just uh, uh, it was just it just disappeared. So I think that's fine. Uh, so we're just exit over here and as you can see we just installed Mozilla Thunderbird with Winget. Now Winget uh, is still in development and I don't know if there is like an update feature or anything like that which is something that you do get in a package manager like apt or yum or pacman whatever. They do keep track of the latest version so I don't know if it's already available in Winget. It's still in development but anyway it's a cool feature to have that right. We have package managers like Chocolaty. Uh, but these are third party so you'll need to uh, get a third party uh, license if you're a business or if you're a free user you still have to download that third party app and once this is finished once winget is finished and it's actually implemented in windows i think it's going to be a good feature for anybody who is a power user who uses their command line a lot uh, and this makes windows just a little bit more like linux right so this is one of those things, like I've already talked about this in my videos, that Windows is kind of turning into a Linux distribution. And you can see that by the fact that they are implementing the the Linux kernel also in their uh, operating system right now. So I'm guessing that this is just one step closer to having their own package manager, having their own uh, uh, maintenance of their own packages. And I think it's a good thing that Microsoft is doing this right. And also for power users like DevOps people or system administrators, uh, it's gonna be a good um, this is going to be a good thing for them uh, because this is just another tool that you can use and I think that anything that you can use in the command line and that, that, that replaces GUI inter uh, GUI interaction I think that's just time saving and it's just a lot easier especially for power users so I think I'm gonna leave it at that guys this was the little bit of a preview of Winget if you can download it play around with it a little, little bit this is just a little bit of a demonstration of how to install it and just the first look at it i didn't really go into depth on this video but that was not the purpose of it at all uh, so again yeah if you want to play around with this go ahead and let me know in the comments down below if you like this video and if you like winget tool if you're going to be using it in the future let me know in the comments down below i would like to know and if you like the video hit that thumbs up and so i think i'm gonna leave it at that guys i have nothing more to say uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.